So today I thought I'd talk about something other than pen and knives. So I thought I'd talk about uh, flashlights, pens, and pry bar. So with flashlights, I probably use flashlight probably more than uh, more than I do my knife, uh, just on a daily uh, basis. Uh, just because of my job, sometimes I go in uh, before the sun comes up, or uh, like if I'm a truck driver, so. Uh, usually I got to check make sure the the fifth wheel is attached to the kingpin or if I'm looking inside of a trailer I need the flashlight so I, I'm usually uh, use the flashlight uh, every day uh, multiple times a day so flashlight is very important uh, in my EDC uh, the flashlight that I actually started with was the streamlight micro stream in the uh, black color so this flashlight it has a it has a low to high setting and it's uh it starts on low at 50 lumens and then it goes to high on two 250 lumens so this was a, a great flashlight and then i got the coyote color on the streamlight micro stream and this this one does the high first and then it goes to the low so that's why I picked this one up because I usually need the the high setting that's my that's my main thing with the flashlights is I need I usually always need it on high first thing um, the low just doesn't I know some people use uh, the low setting or like moonlight to like look in uh, like in a dark room at night or whatever but I I don't usually do that. Um, like I said, I usually use my flashlights at work, so I need that high lumen output first thing. So I, I switched to to this Coyote after that black one, this Coyote color, and then Streamlight came out with the the bigger brother to those. They came out with the Macro Stream, and this one jumped up the uh, lumen to 500 and what they did with this one was they they changed it to high first and then low so with this one we got 500 lumens and this was a, a it's a good flashlight and I use it every every now and then uh, but it is a bit uh, bulkier in the pocket but it's, it's not too bad I use it uh, pretty often uh, I did, I did uh, try uh, the Ray lights. I had like the the Land Apple and the uh, regular Pineapple, the the bigger one, not the mini. I tried those out, uh, but they just they just didn't really uh, do it for me. Um, I don't know. The lumen count wasn't that high. Uh, they weren't as bright. Uh, and then I think the ones I had was in the uh, 4000K uh, color. So on the flashlights, I, I tend to like uh, the cool white coloring on the, on the lights. Uh, so that those, um, those like natural light colors, I noticed that with the natural light colors, like, uh, looking into like a trailer if I have to look far away into the trailer I've noticed that with the natural light uh, I can't really see that well deep into the trailer so I like a, a cool white a cool white will let me see further away uh, so I've tried the the ray lights the the pineapple the land apple uh, there's another one um, I can't remember the, the name of it, but I, I've tried the Ray lights. They just, they didn't do it for me. And then I tried the, uh, the Rook. The Rook is, uh, it's a lot, uh, it's smaller and it was, but it was too wide. Like the circumference of it was too, too wide in the pocket. So it wasn't too comfortable in the pocket, but the flashlight that I ended up, really loving i got this 
titanium flashlight off of Amazon and it's the Eagle Tech Eagle Tech D3C and it's in titanium and so far this has been my favorite uh, flashlight by far it's got a uh, it's got 800 lumens and it's got this setting where if it's all the way where if the the bezel of it is all the way tight it'll be on high first so you got 800 lumens cool white and then if you just twist the 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 bezel on it just a little bit it'll it'll go to low so you got like three different low settings on it <clears throat> but I keep it I keep the bezel all the way tight so I got right off the bat I got 800 lumens first thing so this one has been really great uh, the only thing I don't like about it is it takes um, it takes the CR123A batteries but I need to look for a rechargeable uh, CR123A battery the one that has like a type C in on the battery so I can just plug up the battery because I'm running through through these little batteries like crazy and I don't really like the uh, like I could buy like a battery um, like rechargeable batteries that go that you got to plug into the wall and has like a charger but I'd rather have one battery that's type C and I can just recharge the battery uh, whenever it gets low. Uh, also on, on uh, flashlights, I have the only uh, bougie light, like over $300 that I've tried is the um, Mini Arcadian. I think it's a CWF Mini Arcadian. And it's probably the sexiest light I've ever seen. It, the damn light is sexy as hell. But, man, the, the run time, it just sucks. And I noticed that if you have it on high, after 30 seconds, that flashlight is hot as hell. And you can't even touch it. So that was, that was a no-go. Um... Like I said, it's probably the sexiest light out there, but for like daily use, uh, like a utilitarian uh, flashlight, it's just, that's a no-go for me. Those 30 seconds on high and it's burning your hand, that was, that was just a no-go, so I had to let that one go. But like I said, so far... This titanium flashlight I got off of Amazon. It's been doing, it's been doing the job. Uh, pins. I've uh, I've ran through a, a lot of pins. Um, I've ran through uh, like bolt action pins. I've had the tactile turn. I've had uh, refine. I've had. Uh, I've probably, I've had, uh, Pena, Pena has a, a bolt action pin, but I've, I've noticed that I like the clicker style pin, the clicker style pins better. Uh, just something about, I don't know, I just like the mechanism better of the clicker. And then I always keep the, um. I always keep my pen in my back pocket. I always keep it in my back pocket. So when it has like a bolt action um, mechanism on the side, it hits my, it hits like the corner of the pocket. So in and out, it isn't smooth. So that's why I prefer the, the clicker pens. And I got two uh, Pena pens. So this is all titanium. And then this one's titanium as well. But this one came in a blue anno. And I just wasn't a, a, a fan of the blue anno. So I had this one uh, Cerakoted and bronze. 
by Brand or uh, what's his name? Saracote Brandon on Facebook. I sent this to him. He Saracoted it in um, like a dark bronze and it came out beautiful. So those are the two pens that I've been I've been rocking for a while. Uh, and and the pens I, I use them a lot at work too. Um, sometimes I have to work the shipping dock, so I gotta load unload trailers sometimes and uh, all the paperwork. I gotta use a pen every day. Um, the pry bars, my pry bar of choice is the Pena. This is the Pena pry bar with the Damasteel inlay. Now these came with a wide variety of inlays. Um, I would prefer the brown micarta, but beggars can't be choosers on the secondary market. So I picked up this Damasteel version. It's got a clip on it. And on the pry bars I've tried, um, oh, what's the name of the pry bars? I know I've tried Gondek uh, pry bar and I've tried those Lynch, the Lynch pry bars. I've tried those as well. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, they just didn't, um, I didn't like them too much. Um, also this pry bar, I, I clip it to my, to my back pocket. I don't know if you guys can see that. I clip it to my back pocket and this one's just slim, sleek. And I guess I'm used to the Pena clip because this Pena clip, it goes in smooth, comes out smooth and the retention on the pocket is really good. Um, the pry bars, I don't use them every day. Um, what I do use them for at work is, like I said, I'm a truck driver. So sometimes like the rubber gaskets on the glad hand, uh, they'll get bunched up. So I can use the pry bar instead of using my knife and risk, uh, cutting the rubber gasket. I use the pry bar and actually the other day. Uh, my daughter, she, her aunt gave her uh, quarters. She gave her like a, a dollar and quarters. And for whatever reason, my daughter, she put the quarters inside of bottle caps, like water uh, bottle caps. And she couldn't get the, uh, the quarters out. So this actually came in handy. And I used this to pry the quarters out of the bottle caps. So that was... It was actually pretty funny. I was like, yeah, this thing came in handy. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's pretty much... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I use. Um, the flashlights, the pens, the pry bar. Like I said, uh, the flashlights, I use them every day. Uh, the pens, I use them every day. Um, pry bar... Every once in a while, I'll use it. Uh, it does have a nice bottle cap or, or bottle opener on it. I've used that plenty of times on opening up beers. This uh, screwdriver, um, this flathead screwdriver that's got on it, I'll probably never, never use that. But as far as having a EDC pry bar, this one does it, does the job for me. Um, if you guys know of any uh, CR123A batteries that are type C, uh, let me know. Leave it down in the comment section for me, please, because I'm definitely looking for a CR123A battery with the type C. Like I've seen some uh, Chinese ones, but uh, the reviews on it aren't too aren't too good. Oh, also on this flashlight, um, like I said, I sent this pen over to Cerakote Brandon, and I thought about sending him this uh, titanium flashlight to get it all bronzed out. I would love this flashlight if it was like a stonewash, 
but it's uh it's like a raw titanium color um not really liking the color but i thought about sending it to cerakote brandon getting it uh cerakoted in bronze just like the pen so i may i may do that uh yeah that's about it for the flashlights pens and and pry bar uh, i thought I'd, get, I'd talk about something other than and then Pena, Pena Knives. All right, y'all. Deuces.